Our region's business is sponsored by PNC, for the achiever in us all. And by Fregasso Financial Advisors, how different could your life be? Fee-based investment management securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA SIPC. Our region's business, innovation, transformation, momentum, improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, where we stand in the tussle for top tourist dollars, plus getting a head start on next year's taxes. But first, they say hope springs eternal, especially in the spring. But is it true for employers throughout our region? Well, PNC Bank is back with its spring economic outlook survey. And Kurt Rankin is an economist with PNC, which is, of course, the sponsor of our region's business. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you, Bill. All right. So the question is, we're in a new year. It's springtime and everything else. Uh, just just uh, how is the outlook shaping up among business owners? Well, small, mid mid-sized business owners um, throughout PNC's survey results are looking more optimistic, especially than they were last fall um, and are improving back to the levels where we were we saw last spring before a lot of the negative talk had uh, started up through the last, second half of last year. You think the, the fall results were sort of colored by the uncertainty around the president, uh, not the presidential election, but the mid-year elections? Yes, there was pessimism resulting from uh, ads, political ads, they're bl everybody blaming everybody else, but uh, last second half of last year especially was also uh, there was a lot of media attention to the prospect of a double dipper session or also the possibility of a deflationary spiral. Um, PNC's forecasts were never for those results to actually come to fruition, but I think uh, optimism was painted uh, by the, the, the prospect of those. Okay, so uh, you're beginning to see a somewhat more optimistic tone, especially then compared to the fall. Definitely. Yeah. And how does that manifest in itself? Does that mean they're going to be hiring? Does that mean they're going to be investing? I mean, what, what, what's likely to happen? Well, it starts out, especially with small businesses, I think it starts out with uh, the prospect of um, investing, especially after the depth of the recession that we just saw. Uh, a lot of staffs have been cut, skeleton crew operations uh, throughout most of the nation. Um, so. Uh, small businesses especially would have learned some productivity lessons uh, from the recession and have been able to produce, those that survived have been able to produce with what they have. But now that we're starting to see consumer spending again and uh, businesses, small businesses would be, would reap the benefits of that first in local economies. Um, first you start to see some investment in technology, upgrading um, vehicle fleets or uh, computer systems and then once that optimism has really turned as um, forward-looking and determined that there really is no chance of backsliding, then I think we start to see uh, hiring to, to keep up with uh, that new, um, newly sprung demand, if you will. So it's still a little bit, uh, still a little bit of forward-looking then in terms of when this really begins to manifest itself, especially in terms of job creation. Yes, yeah, so at the moment it's still a cautious optimism. There's been a lot of talk recently about the run-up in food and energy prices. Does that seem to be on the minds of uh, small and mid-sized businesses as well? Absolutely, um, especially within the uh, Pennsylvania survey results. Uh, we don't unfortunately have results down to the Pittsburgh region specifically, but at the state level, um, Pennsylvania especially is, has seen a steady increase as far as expectations small business expecting their own costs to rise, but then for consumer prices in general to rise, and that's um, coming from oil price increases that are so visible, um, sort of upstream costs being passed on to consumers in order to maintain profit margins. So they're going to be squeezed a little bit by inflation on that side. Does that mean they try to pass it along to their consumers? Is that, is that what's ahead for us? Yes, uh, there's that's a pretty universal belief um, our survey uh, showed, and inflation, we are seeing some inflation, especially in the first quarter now, so the data are supporting that. You mentioned a little bit of a difference between the, the, the national numbers and, and Pennsylvania. Any other differences between what's happening nationally and what's happening here closer to home in terms of attitudes and outlook? Well, uh, hiring expectations are a bit slower 
in the Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania results than at the national level. About 25% uh, of businesses indicated that within the next six months they have plans uh, to hire employees, whereas uh, within Pennsylvania survey results th that number was only 15% uh, planning to hire. Um, now is that, it surprises me a little bit because our economy has been a little more stable than, than other parts of the country uh, over the last couple of years. Well the difference um, is not, so, the difference as far as plans to hire are, is that Pennsylvania is lagging behind a bit there, but the bulk, the majority of small businesses surveyed are still indicating a, um, a position of no change at this point. Mm. Not planning to lay off any more workers, those I think uh, layoffs are behind uh, most of the economy, but it's still a sense of when are when is GDP going to increase? When is the good news going to start? We've started to see some hiring in the national numbers uh, recently, so that good news is starting to filter through and and provide some businesses businesses with some confidence. Um, that eventually, though, will lead to once those revenues start to increase, will uh, lead to hiring in order to keep up with. Uh, what eventually will be increased demand. So nothing here that would seem to run counter to, to what uh, PNC's been saying, that the recovery is likely to continue, although it's not likely to be a really rapid recovery. But. Right. Our position all along has been a, a half-speed recovery. Uh, it's not only uh, colloquialism, but almost in a technical sense, coming out of recession, we would expect uh, GDP growth at a national level to be up around the 5% range. It's been in the 25 3% range recently. Um, and a lot of that has to do with psychological impacts of the depth of the recession, uh, talk of double dip again, um, so that's all behind us now, but breaking free of that bunker mentality, especially for consumers that, where debt had been such a, um, such a problem and home values had uh, taken such a hit, that uh, coming out of that bunker mentality is a slower process than we've seen in past recessions. Well, hopefully this is an indication those attitudes are beginning to change and hopefully investment and jobs will follow. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. And next up, planning next year's taxes today. Stay with us.